the Queen has been warned she cannot have a Prince Harry and Meghan Markle sideshow at her Platinum Jubilee celebrations because it would create resentment among other royal family members. Royal commentator Camilla Tomini said it is important the Duke and Duchess of Sussex do not take away the limelight from working members of the family, including Princess Anne, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Earl and Countess of Wessex. She said it is vital next month's celebrations are about the Queen. Speaking to The Telegraph, she explained, you can include the Sussexes, but you don't want some sort of Harry and Meghan sideshow going on when the main event must be HMQ the Queen and equally there will be other members of the royal family who are still doing the daily grind who will resent being overshadowed by Harry and Meghan even if they don't admit it. You're not going to want to have the likes of Princess Anne and the Earl and Countess of Wessex for instance who day in day out plant trees, unveil plaques and go to the openings of royal envelopes solely to have the media completely focus on Harry and Meghan who aren't playing a role at all in the so-called family. Her comments come ahead of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, taking place from June 2 to June 5, which Harry and Meghan said they were excited and honoured to be invited to. But the pair will not join the Queen on the balcony of Buckingham Palace because the privilege is only reserved for working members of the firm. A palace spokesman said, after careful consideration, the Queen has decided this year's traditional trooping the colour balcony appearance on Thursday June 2 will be limited to Her Majesty and those members of the royal family who are currently undertaking official public duties on behalf of the Queen. Joining the Queen on the balcony for trooping will be Prince Charles, Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, the Earl and Countess of Wessex, the Princess Royal, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, the Duke of Kent, Princess Alexandra, and Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence. Also set to appear for the historic occasion will be Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis and the Wessex's children Lady Louise Windsor and James, Viscount Severn. The head of state has made an exception for Anne's husband Vice Admiral Sir Tim, who is not a working royal, her two youngest grandchildren Lady Louise and James, and her Cambridge great-grandchildren George, Charlotte, and Louis. The monarch's decision to only include royals carrying out official public duties on the balcony at the Trooping the Colour was taken after careful consideration. Buckingham Palace said. Levin called the decision great, adding, it will have such a different positive atmosphere if there are working royals who support Her Majesty. However despite the seeming snub, Harry and Meghan have confirmed that they will come to the UK to attend the Jubilee celebrations this summer and will also bring their children Archie and Lilibet, who is yet to meet her great-grandmother. A spokesperson for the couple said, Prince Harry and Meghan. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are excited and honoured to attend the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations this June with their children. It will be the first time Harry and Meghan have brought their family to the UK since leaving for the US. On June 2, Trooping the Colour, the Sovereign's official birthday parade, will kick-start the four days of Jubilee festivities, with 18 members of the royal family set together on the famous frontage, with the Queen looking forward the weekend of celebrations.